What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. In the last video, we generated a gazebo uh, model of terrain and then inserted it into gazebo. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can use this in conjunction with RD Pilot to plan out and test out some of the missions that we might fly in this area in real life. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is insert a uh, model of our drone. And so to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and find a flat area for our drone to be positioned on. And then I'm going to pause the simulation and then go to insert. And then I'm going to pick drone one. And then I'm just going to insert that guy right there. And then I'm going to go to move to. And then I'm going to position this guy above the ground by doing the move tool. And then I'm just gonna move them up just a little bit more. And just a little bit more. And that should be good. So now I'll go ahead and start the simulation again. And boom, that guy is in our <clears throat> world. So the next thing we're gonna need to do is um, take the start siddle command that we've been using in the previous videos and modify that a little bit for our use case. So uh, this is the command that we have in our start siddle um, dot sh um, script. And we're gonna be adding just the dash L command. And then we're going to do our lat lawn out and um, orientation of the vehicle but the orientation of the vehicle actually doesn't really matter for gazebo since it actually uses the gazebo orientation um, in substitute for that. And so what I'm gonna be putting in is I'm gonna copy the lat lawn uh, location from the website, and then I'm going to do a dash L and then paste this and then do zero for the altitude and zero for the orientation. And that should be fine. So, what this is, is this is the lat lawn location of the middle of the map. And then um, the RD Pilot Gazebo plugin will take the um, coordinate of the middle of the map and then add on the local frame uh, position of the drone and orientation and um, basically make it such that we don't have to actually get the exact starting location of the drone for us. So that's pretty nifty. Now let's go ahead and run that. <clears throat> All right, boom, looks like it's connecting and starting up. So let's go ahead and then uh, launch Q ground control. So my Q ground control is in download. So I'm gonna CD down there and then do a dot slash uh, Q ground control dot app image. <clears throat> so Q ground control comes up and then our drone is positioned on the lake um, as it is in gazebo. So just to like prove to you that that's the way it is, um, I'm going to zoom out so you can see the lake and then we'll come back to here and it looks like the drone is facing towards this little bit of the lake and um, if we highlight our drone it's over here and he is facing towards that little bit of the lake <clears throat> which is super cool and of course if we wait around and um, uh, wait for the drone to initialize, we'll be able to fly a mission. So let's go ahead and plan a mission real quick. So I was playing around with this earlier, so I think I'm just going to um, clear this mission. So I'll do a blank and then I'll go ahead and add a takeoff. And then I think I'm actually gonna do a pattern um, just to show you guys that um, this might be useful for um, testing out your surveys. Do a basic one and probably knock this down just a little bit. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll come and do a little survey of the water as well. And then I'll just go ahead and upload that. And then um, we'll come back to fly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check if the console is ready to fly and it says it's using GPS. So we should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and slide to confirm to start this mission. So now if we take a look over here, we can see our drone and it is flying around. And as you can see, the position of the drone is accurately reflected on the Q ground control map and accurately reflected in the gazebo world. So 
basically that's all I really wanted to show in this video. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how we can um, beautify our worlds and make it look a little bit better and how to position our models and how to generate models to add to our worlds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next time. Um, I'm going to just make a little time lapse of the drone flying this mission and I hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next one.